Hello everyone and welcome back. So this week I am here chilling on my bedroom floor. <laughs> That's only because Olivia's downstairs having what sounds like a dance party. So I just kind of left her to it and the hats were up here already as well as the big light because my bedroom gets better light than downstairs does. And because it's been raining and really dull and dark for like two weeks now, I came upstairs to take photos for the shop update. So that is why we are here. So hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so last week there was no video. We were super flat out, busy getting ready for the Zen Festival and I just didn't have time to fit in a video. So thank you, Emma, for inviting us to the Zen Festival. We had an awesome time. And if any of you guys are watching that came and said hi at the Zen Festival, hello, it was really nice to meet you. So this week is a shop update and I have all the hats here for the shop update. So I hope you're as excited as I am because there are some really nice hats here. I'm gonna start off with the medium brim ones and then we'll move on to the wide brim ones. But I would just like to say, first of all, today is Saturday, which means the shop update has gone live. So I will leave the link in the comments below as well as in the description. But also, you know, come and follow us on Instagram because I got all the updates on there every day. <laughs> So here we have a light brown medium brim mushroom fedora and it's got a layered band which is in dusky pink and green with a pretty pleat. I'm not sure if you can see the pleat but it's very very pretty and I think the light brown ones go with absolutely everything. They're really cute. I love them. So that's your first one, mushroom. Second is such a nice color, mint green. Look at this one. So I actually uh, only got a couple of these and the first one I tested on, I wasn't sure if I liked it. And then the second one, which was this one, I did and I really, really liked burning these patterns onto it. We've got kind of leaves and buds on them. And uh, when I went to go and get more, they were sold out, but I have managed to buy it. I think I managed to get one the other day. They came back in stock and have gone again. So mint green, which also has a layered band, which is the dusky green, some roses on the ribbon and some brown as well. So very cute. Also with the patterns underneath. Lovely, especially if you like mint green. Cute. Next brown mushrooms. So I quite like these. I have a friend that has one of these darker brown um, fedoras with the mushrooms in them. So it's more like if you're not quite, you know, bold and out there, bold and out there, not quite bold, then these ones are probably a really good fit for you because they're super cute. The patterns are lovely, but they're not in your face. And this one has browns and purples as the layered band so very cute also dark brown goes with everything i have another light brown one here which is more on the kind of simple side so we've just got really pretty leaves on either side here not super detailed because you might not like super detailed and then we've got the leaves on the inside which look super cute and it's got the burnt orange with brown and two of these cute little brown laser cut leaves, which I love having the little embellishments on my hats, especially with wood. I absolutely love the wood. So cute, cute, yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> next, next is green. The green has no dangly bits, so it is quite simple again, almost like the brown but the green's like a forest green color. It's really cute. Also with mushrooms. And the band is like a layered suede band with a kind of mixed creamy, bluey, gray and pink underneath. It's very cute, especially if you like forest green colors. I'm very autumnal colors, autumnal colors. So I like my greens and my oranges anyway. And this one, which seems to be quite popular, is it's like almost I wanted to say forest green there but it's not it's got like a blue color to it 
It is more on the green side, but with a blue to it. Also has the pretty gold leaves on the inside. And it has a layered band that is greens, burnt orange, also with a wooden embellishment and a little green tassel. But it's very, very cute. But there's something about green and gold just goes really well. Still, I think we need to try orange and gold at some point. That might work really well too. So that is the medium brim ones. So we'll move on to the wide brim ones. Here we have, now this one, I only have one of these. It's a suede hat and it was so nice to burn these cherry blossoms into. Like really nice and super easy to burn them in as well. And when I burnt them in, they just went like a darker pink color, which is just, I mean, out of all the hats, this one, I absolutely love burning into. So it's suede, pink, wide brim with a layered band, which is pink, and which is green, purple and brown. And it's got this little embellishment here with a little crystal in there. The underneath is just plain. You know, not everybody wants something on the underneath of the brim, but very cute. And I like the white brim buns. They're probably my favorite big white brims. Also, I'm super white and burn really quickly. So this is really handy. <laughs> so here we go. Cherry Blossom in pink wide brim. Next. Next, this is my only um, orange one left. So it is a burnt orange colour with mushrooms and plants and leaves burned into it. Also, I've done the top of this one, which I like these ones when I do the top, it's really cute. And the layered band is brown with a mix of creams and blues and pinks as well, dusky pinks. Also, with the mushrooms underneath. Very cute. I have one of these burnt orange ones myself. Obviously goes with my clothes. <laughs> so that's that one. I did this one as well, which has a really pretty shape. It's kind of like, I don't know if you've seen my, my brown one. I've got an orange one and a brown one. And this is the same style of hat. It's got like more of a teardrop shape than this one. I think they're both kind of teardropped, but you'll see the difference. See, this one is, I don't know, more of a teardrop than that one. I don't know if that's right, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so this one is pink with a, an almost uh, minimal mandala look to it. It's like a baby pink with rose and then mixed here, there's like pinks and blues and stuff there with the rose ribbon as well. And the underneath has a mandala with these pretty wooden embellishments that I popped on. So here we have, did the tassel bit go in? The black tassels that you see are the bits for tightening them. So if you ever think, oh, you know, I've got a really small head. I can never get a hat to fit me. They are all adjustable. So you just pull the little strings on the inside and tie them together and they'll fit any head. <laughs> so that's always handy because I find that these ones are, the wide brim ones are a little bit, they're spacious but I always tie mine anyway and then if you're worried that you've got a big head because I get questions like that quite a lot, you'd be surprised. As I've got a really big head, I don't think the hats will fit. You'd be surprised, they are made to be a bit more spacious. So minimal mandala. Okay sort my hair out a bit here. Try on on hats. Makes it a little bit frizzy. This one, now we did sell this one, um, but unfortunately I didn't get to send it out because Etsy have, they do this thing where if it's over a certain size and you're selling it to the US, they won't give me a postage label for it. So I would have to take it to the post office which is absolutely fine. I've got no problem with doing that. You could order it through Etsy and I'll take it to the post office and fill out the customs forms there to get it sent off. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of the person that ordered this one to get their phone number because you need to have a phone number on a customs sheet. So please bear in mind, if you are ordering from the US, hit me up a message and let me know all your details in that message because otherwise I can't send it out to you. But this one is cute, it is the only black fedora I have. I'm not big on black myself, but lots of people are. 
and it's got zodiac signs and it's got some crystals and it's got moons underneath and I've added these cute little dangly bits and it's got silver cuffs as well on it and a couple of little tarot cards and I do like tarot cards it's quite cute though I mean if I went out and I wore black I would absolutely have a black one I just don't wear black very often maybe one of you guys will though that's cool <laughs> okay brown this one is although it's very detailed around the brim the layered band is quite plain but that's cool and it's in purples and browns with some cute flowers all the way around i tried to fill this brim up as well as mushrooms on the inside mushrooms are quite popular the amount of people i bump into they're like oh my god i love mushrooms <laughs> i do too they're very cute i did a a while back i did a challenge and i painted one mushroom every two days throughout the month and i absolutely loved it and i really want to do it again but enough about painting more about hats we have another wide brimmed brown this is the same shape as this one but obviously with different detail this one has flowers and buds this is similar to the style of my brown one it also has a layered band in dusky pinks greens and browns as well as look at these these little wooden embellishments are super cute and then flowers underneath very cute very cute and last but certainly not least is this beauty which i know a few people have their eyes on i think it's the green and gold so this green is slightly different to this one this one's a bit more of a brighter green and this one's more of a bluey darker green which you'll be able to see the difference but it's very cute green with the burnt orange layered band here with the snake and we've got some moons and suns and detail and then the underneath's got a moon on it of course because it's pretty so yeah there you have it these are all of our hats going in to the shop update i want to wear this one it's really cute <laughs> so if you'd like to get your hands on one of these one of a kind because i never make any hat the same they're always different one of a kind fedoras make sure to click on the link down below i'll leave it in the comments and in the description and uh yeah thanks for coming and hanging out guys if you'd like to subscribe please do so because we have different content every week also i have a lot more stuff coming up and i'm quite excited to share it but we'll wait until i've finished it first <laughs> So thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I'll see you next time.